She was gunned down in the middle of the street in Lemon Grove last year. Today, the man accused of shooting her in a fit of rage was sentenced to life in prison without parole. 10 News reporter Vanessa Van Hefty talked to the mother who faced her daughter's killer today for the very first time. And Vanessa, she's now speaking out about what happened. Yeah, Jennifer's mother gave a very emotional victim's impact statement here today in court. She says she is just relieved that she'll never have to see her daughter's killer again. Every day she's thought about, every day she's missed. Jennifer Cranick's mother says her daughter was never one to mix words. And when she turned Casey Deshita down for a date, he snapped, shooting her in the head outside of this Lemon Grove nightclub. She didn't want him knowing my daughter. She flat out told him off and it made him mad. Today, Gail Banuelas finally got the chance to face her daughter's killer. She didn't want you, so you stole her inner and outer beauty from all of us. You stole my baby girl. The 32 year old convicted killer sat stone faced as Jennifer's mother explained why she didn't push for the death penalty. The gut wrenching pain. I wake up with every day, the morning I can't get away from even in my sleep and the anguish I deal with daily due to the horrific murder of my daughter. How could I demand the state of California to rip you away from your parents like you ripped Jennifer away from me? The former sailor argued that Jennifer led him on. He was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and PTSD from his time in Iraq. But prosecutors say he was obsessed with the 30 year old beauty and couldn't take no for an answer. Her family this holiday season finally feeling some peace. That's a blessing. I get to start this New Year's without thinking about having to be in court and seeing this man. And Tashita made no apologies. In fact, he only spoke up one time when he asked the judge when he could appeal this ruling. Reporting live from Alcajon, Vanessa Benhefti, 10 News.